Okay, let's try this. Please tell me we're back. At this point, I'm actually not going to be able to see, but, uh... Okay. Alright. Does it seem like everything's working now? Because... If so, I think I know exactly what caused it. Which is going to make my life a little bit more interesting, but... Um... If that's the way it is, then... I'll... I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it until I get an upgrade. Um, so, okay. Alright, so I need to try the Act 4 Flash again. Um, okay. Alright, let me give that one more shot. Just bear with me here. Do-do-do-do-do. Log. Flip. All right. All right, so we're trying this again. Okay. How's this doing? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure we got the, the sound worked out, but I just wanted to double check this just to make sure. Cause... Still, still not doing too well. I will say this is probably not the best one to test, but... Okay, alright, I stopped. <laughs> Well, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, okay. All right. The HTML5 player? That's a good question. Um, tell you what, give me a second here. Sorry, everyone. I was kind of afraid this was going to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. The <laughs> It's not frozen now. <laughs> How about now? Is it frozen? <laughs> oh, dear. So I'm wondering what's going to happen when I hit the new flash. Um, I wonder, let's see, yeah, no, no, the, <laughs> the troubleshooting is not, not doing too well, um, hmm. Test on a flash I've already viewed. Um, try to send? I can give that a shot. Alright, let me get to it. TMJ JMT, thank you for following. Yay! I'm so sorry this is happening right now. <laughs> All right, let's see.
But are we talking about this one? Let's see if this one works. See, I'm wondering if it's not so much of a flash problem as the kind of flash it is. I mean, if it's something like, no, no, I can't do this one either, huh? Okay. Alright. Underlying ocean, hi! <laughs> we'll get this sorted. <laughs> um, okay. Let's try something different. Alright, I've got another idea. Um, okay. How about if I do this? Uh, well, that's not going to work too well. Portal! Hi! Ooh, how about this? Okay. Alright, I've got a better idea. Um... Let's try it on something that I that we've seen before. Mainly because it is my absolute favorite ever. Let's try this one. Okay, how well is this working? It doesn't really look like I'm dropping anything at this point. This is going to be sad if we have to do this by YouTube as opposed to flashes, but eh, what can you do? Still lag, still lagging. Okay, so that seems to be doing better. If we if we use YouTube, that's that seems better. Audio's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to turn myself up because I just love this music. Audio's kind of doubled. Oh. Oh, you know what? I'm wondering if you're hearing both. Hmm. So how did that do? Is that better? Um. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So we can actually do this now. Yes! <laughs> Okay, all right, so, um, well, I guess there is nothing else left to do but to start the show. We can start the show, finally. It only took us 15 minutes. 
Oh, jeez. So, if we're going to start the show, I might as well go ahead and start with what I actually do. Hello, my friends. Hi. Um, it has been a while, and I, I, I'm, again, I'm really sorry for the technical difficulties. It, that was just, I guess this is what I'm going to have to do until I can upgrade my computer, um, because... I, I don't really think that this... I, I think the processor is too old to be able to handle both streaming with video and Flash in a web browser at the same time. That's It's kind of depressing. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. So... Ah, <sighs> well, um, anyone have any, uh, any questions before we get started? I don't want to just jump right in, um, just yet, but, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Patreon for Duck to get a new CPU. <laughs> it's funny you should mention this, um... I have a, um, I've been doing a couple of things behind the scenes. If you look down at the bottom of the page, uh, uh if you're watching this in the main Twitch browser, um, I actually do have, um, a, um, a link that has like a, a wish list of a couple of things. And, uh, there's also a PayPal thing. Um, okay. So question. Who do you think is going to make who pay? Oh, dear. Well. Uh, that's a good one. Because it could be, I mean, I've, I've, it's been a few days, so... It could be that we, uh, um, someone could be making. Uh, I don't know about Terezi. I don't. Th I don't think be making her pay. Vriska might be making her pay something. Black Queen maybe. White Queen maybe. Um, we haven't actually seen her show up in this in this part. Um, if I was to. I'm not really sure. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Is this page not your favorite in the entire comic? Um, yes or no? <laughs> yes or yes? Okay. <laughs> um, well, it is one of the... I put it this way. It didn't hurt my eyes. That's for sure. Uh, I, I literally did the... Um, the, the head on the desk and the bonking whenever I translated the troll speak because I should have seen it just by looking at the pattern but I'm a sucker for these kinds of things you give me a code I'm gonna want to try to translate it oh boy but yes is this page not your favorite panel uh yes or yes um it's up there it really is up there what's your thoughts on the troll arc in general um, I'm not sure if this is a, if this is a product of me taking my time through it, um, because for a while there, I was able to do upwards of, like, six posts a day, and as I moved forward, I felt like I was missing more and more things, and so I ended up backing it off to five and then four, and, um, now I'm lucky if I can get two or three in a day, um... And so I feel like that it's gone on longer than I'm, that I'm comfortable with, but at the same time, I have been taking my time and trying to catch as much as I can. Um, so, but other than that, um, I've really enjoyed the, uh, the characterization of everyone. Everyone feels flawed. Everyone feels individual. Everyone feels real. Um, and from what I understand, that's actually 
common for the trolls to feel more real than the kids. Um, let's see. Uh, so, over in general, um, I've I'm really enjoying it. I am very surprised at how much my attitude towards them has changed since they first showed up. Um, so. It will definitely be interesting to see how much more my opinion changes of them as we go forward. On a scale of 5 to 10, how great is Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff? <laughs> On a scale of 5 to 10. <laughs> um, I'm, I have been half tempted to take a look at the compilation book that's out there now. Um... Because like, one of the things that I had a problem with, uh, I wanted to go through that whole portion, but the contrasting colors actually gave me headaches. Um, and I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to discredit that because that's all part of the style. That's just the way that that those are all done. But um, I don't know if it's something that I need to go back and reread. Um, before I keep going, or if that's just something that I need to get to at some point and just go, oh yeah, I was referencing that. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I don't really know how to do that scale. <laughs> do you have, uh, okay, from Underlying Ocean, do you have a current top favorite troll? Has it changed since the last post you made about it? Well, you know what? Let me go see what that, what is my top favorite? What was the last time that I said for the top favorite troll? Um, I thought I had it listed. Huh. Yeah, I thought I did. Weird. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, I don't have it. I thought I had written it down. Um, I feel like we need to see some more... Okay. I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I'm going to butcher these names. Um, so... I feel like I need to see more of Nepeta. Because she's kind of just been sitting back and doing her, uh, um, her shipping charts, and haven't really gotten to see her get into the action. Um, but um, I want to say Kanaya is really, really up there. Um, surprisingly, Terezi is getting up there as well. Um, and. Really, Carcat is up there as well. Like, I want to say they would probably be my top four. Like, they would all share the the top. Well, no, no, wait. I can't forget. Um, I can't forget about um, Solix or Tavros because uh, my my heart just goes out to both of them. They're they're so precious. Okay. Um, Favorite characters at this stage of any stripe by Biologic Demiurge. Um, and thank you. Thank you for telling me about the, the pronunciation. Um, favorite characters at this stage of any stripe. <sighs> um... Oh jeez, I don't want to. I don't want to like just stop talking altogether. Um, I think there are different kinds of favorites. Um, like, if I wanted to throw the kids in there, I would say that um, like, first off, I absolutely love Jade. I love her with all my heart, and she's just absolutely precious. Um, Rose is one of the, like, I'm, I love how much of a badass she is, and Dave's just cool altogether. Um, so, 
that's a really that's a really difficult question. I don't think I can ever put one character at the top of any of the others. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Kayla Circuit says, "What about Gamzy?" Oh, Gamzy. <sighs> I'm gonna have to actually drink a whole bunch of Fago in order to completely understand him. Uh, <laughs> he's he's not he's not my absolute favorite, but he's he's a he is a little bit precious just you kind of just want to pat him on his head and just send him on his way and like here you go you go play over there it'll be fine let me know if you need a refill <laughs> speaking of which i'm getting close to the end of mine well um we've got we're coming up on 8 30 now huh um, what do you think? Should we go ahead and get started? Let's, let, let's actually watch this video. Everyone cool with that? Hmm. I'm totally okay with watching now. Okay, all right, I've gotten the okay. So, I've got it queued up. Already, this bothers me. <laughs> um, so, this this is the uh, Trollian icon, isn't it? Um, so, I'm wondering, I'm wondering what's going to happen here as soon as I... And, okay... <sighs> I have to make this observation. Look down at the time. This flash is 3 minutes and 14 seconds long. Now, I was bringing this up with Hex earlier today. Like, Of course, it's 3 minutes and 14 seconds long. Because I mean, this could be a number of things. Well, what actually did I say? Um, what did I say earlier? I have to actually, I have to go look it up. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. So I said because, all right, so it's 3 minutes and 14 seconds, which means that it's 413 in reverse. And of course, 413 is the number that's tied to the kids, just like 612 is for the trolls. But the reverse, it, the reversal of the numbers could just be a call back to troll speak being written in reverse form. Um, from how we read it, um, it could be time shenanigans. I feel like anything in in this can be explained with time shenanigans. Like that. That's like. Well, why did um, why did Jade go out and get the package? Time shenanigans. Um, why was it that John was able to fly with the with the rocket pack? Time shenanigans. It's my explanation for everything. It catches everything. So, all right. Here we go. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember when, when her arm got blown off. And we saw that bear's head, the same bear's head that we saw w when when Hussey was hiding in the attic. Okay, so Vriska is using her manipulation powers, going to. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, poor Tavros. Why do we always have to pick on him? Interesting. Psychic double reach around, really? <laughs> also, I love this track. I've heard this track before, and I, I, I really do love it. So why are we now grabbing... What? We're now grabbing the Lucis that is in Terezi's head now? She finally wakes up.
Oh. Hey, doesn't that look familiar? It's the same vision, the same thing that we'd see in Dave's sunglasses before he entered. So she was blinded. She was blinded by looking into the sun at the same time that her dream self was looking at Skaya. And that was Vriska's fault. Okay, now Car Cat's kicking ass like you do. Oh, hey, Terezi. Hooray, they're kicking tail. Yay. Wow, everyone's here. That. <laughs> Okay, I'm not entirely sure what it was that Kanaya was wearing there. Oh, great. They were... <laughs> so this is just them just doing all kinds of fighting and... Oh, dear. Yeah, oh, wow. Yes! <laughs> I don't know why, but yes! Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I know. That's because... Ah, ha, ah, ah, ah. Okay, I got it. I got it. Man. <laughs> okay, then. So... That, so, okay, so it was, it was Vriska. She was the one who, of course she was the one who orchestrated all of that. And so, I mean, uh, hopefully I'm getting this right. Aradia, she figured out that it was Vriska who was controlling Solix, who inadvertently killed her with his bifurcated Kamehameha style attack and so Aradia finally I mean Friska got the beat shit out of her um I I to, to all of those who who like Friska I am sorry but that that felt really good <laughs> oh dear I am so yeah that was that was a really good one. I kind of wish it was longer. Um, so... That was kind of scary. I did that... that I, I was like, maybe we're making Vriska pay. We didn't know who was making Vriska pay because, quite honestly, with the exception of... Um... I would say, honestly, with the exception of Gamzee, everyone had motive to uh, to make Riska pay. Overlord Tulip, hi! Caught me just just as we oh finished the we finished the vid, and I have now finished my beer. So yeah, that was, that felt really good. Um, now I'm at a loss for what's next. <laughs> I mean, unless I need to just, I mean, I don't want to go into the next one unless there is one, uh, another animation very, very soon. Um, I'm going to get a ruling on, on that, um... Hex, can you tell me? Because, uh... I mean, ultimately, remember, uh, if you were watching before, um, when we were trying to make it to the end of Act 4, um, there was a lot that we ended up going through that I really should have, uh, stuck with the blog itself instead of trying to do a, do a whole bunch of pages in a video. So... Um, let's see. 
There is another animation coming up. Oh, dear. But there's some pester logs before that. Okay. Yeah, I... I'm going to have to wait, honestly, because, um... The, uh... I feel like I, like, I really, really enjoy, uh, blogging when there are pester logs, because, um... I mean, I just, I feel like there's, there's more opportunity for me to have humor, to, to kind of show just how freaking old I am when it comes to reading this thing. Um, so I'll give you, just to give you an idea, oh jeez, um, uh, so, anyone who... If anyone was wondering just how, uh, like the reference to Billy Joel, that song was on 52nd Street in 1978. That song came out before I was born, and yet I can still reference it. Uh, so, um, anyway... I didn't realize how short that was going to be, so I am at your mercy at this point. Do we want to do more questions? Do we want to... I mean, if you want, I can do sort of a stop and go with this and see if there's... <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, it's a real show now. Um, see if there's anything I missed. Um, is, uh, that was... I want to say that felt almost as good as when John entered the uh, first gate. His, that was... I still think that that animation is one of my favorites, like right at the end of Act 3. Um, but, uh, but this one, this one felt really good. Typing, typing, typing. So, in case you're wondering, um, I, I don't have the uh, Twitch chat open. Um, I mean, I do have it open, but I don't have... I'm not able to see it. Um, that's why uh, Hex is in channel, and he's, uh, he's going through some of the things and curating for me. Um, she folks are encouraging. Rewatch others are encouraging. A read of Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff, so that's where they... <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, uh, I have to be really, really careful with what I see, um, that, uh, that migraine that I had last week was definitely an experience I do not want to instigate or recreate or anything like that, and I'm still actually feeling a little bit of the effect, uh, of the after effects from it, um, so, but, yeah, uh, if there are pester logs coming up, I'm really going to save that for the blog, uh, just because, as I was saying, I, I feel like I come into my, uh, that's more in my element, uh, of reaction and humor, and, um, so... I do, I do have to apologize ahead of time, uh, well, no, not ahead of time, I have to apologize now if the last couple of posts today were of a little bit lower quality, it was mainly because I was trying to get through them as quickly as possible so we could have this tonight. Um, yeah, I do need a towel. <laughs> uh, I mean... Yes, I, I am actually sweating a little bit. Part Partly is because I can't hold my alcohol. Um, partly it's because, um, well, I, I run warm normally anyway. But also, it's February 24th, and it was almost 80 degrees. Why? <laughs> it's still winter. It shouldn't feel like spring break yet. I haven't gotten to see one bit of snow to this year, and I'm 
really sad about that. Well, um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Bring that up. There we go. Um, I will say that, like, when I said it was 80 degrees, I, I mean, like, it's, I mean, it's just been uncharacteristically warm. Um, <laughs> Hex says snow sucks. Hex snow. I'm like, no. <laughs> um, cause, I mean, I, I've lived, I lived in the South all my life, and I remember there were times when we actually had snow. I mean, snow that was. Uh, there, there is a picture that I have. I, I don't know if I've posted it before, but there is a picture of me when I was in, when I was a teenager, and my grandfather decided he was going. There was so much snow, he was going to make a snow sculpture, and the sculpture was as tall as me. This was Tennessee, back in the '90s, and now, like I don't think we're ever going to get that snow again. So. Oh yeah, as <laughs> so Hex is telling me, hey, you remember the time that uh, that that I visited him in the Midwest and um, I fell in the snow and injured myself. Well, um, it was it was a sidewalk, it was ice, and I didn't have the proper footwear. Um, I laughed until we got to the coffee shop, and that's when I started feeling a little bit dizzy. <laughs> And my arm was hurting for a while after that. But I don't blame the snow. I blame the ice. That, that, that's a, There's a complete difference. Snow is fun to jump in and throw at other people. Ice is only good if you have on ice skates. Anything else, it's a recipe for disaster. So. Um... So, well, um, this was a lot shorter than I was expecting. Does anyone have any other kind of questions? Uh, is there anything else you'd like me to do? Or, or, or if you want, um, I could, I could hop out for a few minutes, uh, change a couple of things, and, um, I don't know. Play some games. Have some fun. Um, might as well see what all I can do uh, getting ready for the uh, uh, for the fundraiser. Um, that's... When is that again? I remember putting that down before, but I can't think of it right off the top of my head. That is March 11th uh, is when I'm going to be uh, helping a fundraiser for the ACLU. Um... So, let's see. Any thoughts on that Solix Aridin fight? Oh, that was a Goku Vegeta moment right there. Oh, that was good. <laughs> um, watch it again. Look for stuff. Okay. Um, all right. I tell you what. We got some time. I'm gonna go through a little bit, and then you know we'll rewatch it. I'll stop a little bit because usually what I like to do is watch the whole thing first and then, you know, get, get that initial shock, you know, and then go back through and go, okay, so I see what happened here. So, all right, we've got plenty of time and we'll do this again. So, yoink. Okay, so this goes... This goes all the way back to when the cue ball, the cue, no, it, yeah, it was the, um, it was when Friska was holding the cue ball and she, she used her sevenfold vision to look, uh, to look into it and it, it showed up and said the, I'm going to, I'm going to detonate or I'm going to blow up in your face and, and then it very much did.
again, can I just say the blue blood really freaks me out? It's not just, it's not just because of, you know, her or whatever. It's that, <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you haven't ever watched Rosafon, go find it. I don't know if it's on Crunchyroll, but it's really good. It's got great music. And the blue blood, it just, it freaks me out. So now she's pissed, and she starts using her powers. See, that should have been my first clue, that she's going after Tavros again. Because it's so easy to go after him. And she's already done this to him. Like, so this point, it's after she already caused him to jump to his paralysis. I still haven't forgiven her for that. And she's just pissed. She's just pissed that she didn't... She wasn't able to save her own arm. And so she's taking it out on as many people as possible. So, okay. So now I see what's going on. She is causing... She's using her manipulation powers to cause Tavros to use his influence powers on animals. It's sort of like this animal empathy thing going on. Goes into the forest where Therese's Lucis is sleeping. That's where that psychic double reach around happened. So... At this point, is this the point when... No, this couldn't have been the point when... Therese's Lucis woke up because we've already seen that happen. So this was before. So. Okay. So her Lucis is guiding her both physically and in Prospect to walk to a certain area and open her eyes, like actually waking her up. But the problem is, and this is honestly, this makes sense. Whenever, whenever you wake up, any light source is gonna be bright, and if it's bright enough, it is going to hurt. And so, yeah, the, She's, uh, Therese was pulled from her, um, pulled from sleep. She, she was being controlled to sleepwalk into the forest and then look up. And then when she, she goes from sleeping to looking directly at the sun without sunglasses. And there goes her vision. So that act caused her to be blind. So... So even though it was directly done... It, it, she was directly influenced by her Lucis. It was an indirect influence by Tavros, who was being manipulated by Vriska. So there's that chain. And so now we're in Karkat's world. Um, what is that? The land of pulse and haze? There we go. I do have a cheat sheet. And, oh good, he's there with Jack. And, looks like he's got a bit of an upgrade. And I just got an, uh, an alert saying that there's uh, storms entering. So, we may have to stop at 9 o'clock after all. Um... So, okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta go back a little bit. So we can see what all's already been prototyped here. I mean, you see Tavros's horns. There's Vriska's eyes, arms. We've got Karkat's claw arms there. 
And, oh look, there's a mustache. And so, so this is later on and they're doing their thing together. Which, okay, I do find that a little odd that um, we've got client and server playing the game at the same time. In their case, anyway. Gamzee, however, he was doing his thing by himself. Then you've got, of course, uh, Feferi. Is it is it Feferi or Feferi? I think it's Feferi. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'd, I'd need a pronunciation guide with that one. Um, anyway, she's with Solix, which that's to be expected. I'm, I'm guessing that's that's a that's a relationship thing happening there and then of course uh, <sighs> focus on the peta focus on the peta she's cute and adorable and flops <laughs> yay Tavros is doing his thing okay what the shit <laughs> like I mean you saw that right I mean I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not totally, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with, you know, Kanaya changing her outfit, but, oh, right, right, she's got that thing where, like, her, her wardrobe cycles the same way that Jade's does because they share the same technology. Um, and, whoa, 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 go back again, check out that, that chainsaw. Can't really see it too well, but. Damn. That's... Kind of reminds me a little bit of the... Uh, if anyone ever played the original... Um, oh, uh, either pronunciation of... Of... Feferi works... F okay, cool. I'll have to remember that one. Um, I like Feferi, just be because... It breaks up the name into three syllables, much like the others. It feels more. It feels more uniform that way. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, um, Kanaya's chainsaw kind of looks me. If anyone ever played the original Neverwinter Nights, remember that sword with the eye and the like. That's kind of what that looks like. Why is she fighting? Wait, is she fighting? No, she's fighting an imp. A, a really, really large one, I think. Right? Yeah, oh, no, that's a... Uh... Oh, my mind's gone blank. Um... It's not a guardian, it's not a custodian. Um... Agent, um... I mean, uh, like, it, it's the boss. That's what it seems like to me, anyway. Why is there a gigantic brain? It's just that's just a whole thing of brains. Is that a is that a world that I don't know about? Um Aridan's land is the only land that I don't know about. And so I'm wondering if that's a glimpse into his because brain uh, for, for some odd reason. And so he's got his harpoon throwing uh, I I swear to god it looks like a gatling gun. Now nah. Actually, no. No, that's just blue and white. Whereas Solix is doing the blue and red thing. Kind of looks purple. Okay. If we're going to use the Dragon Ball Z comparison here, Aridan actually looks like he's throwing a Kamehameha, and Solix looks like he's throwing a, uh, a Gatlic gun, because Vegeta's Gatlic gun is always purple. Um... It's really sad that I know that, but okay. And uh, like that, that little bit there of them fighting each other. Um, they're fighting each other because Aridan wants to be um, Feferi's mate sprit, and she is starting to choose Solix if she hasn't already, and so he's pissed. Because of course he is. I swear he 
should have been drawn with a fedora. And so we're back to we're back to not Destiny Islands. Um, and they're doing their flying around thing, which is kind of adorable. I mean, she seems like she's having a pretty good time, and apparently so is he. And then, oh snap! <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna sit back and... Hmm. Blink. Okay, so so that's that's something odd. If I can get to it, she brought those with her. Oh. Um. Uh, sorry, Hex sent me a, a thing of... Okay, so the brains. Oh, right, the brains. Yes, the land of brains and fire. That's Solix's. Oh, okay, I did have that written down. I, I, I thought I had missed it for some odd reason, and why did I close that? Crud. There. Okay. Okay, so... Thank you for that. But yeah, I, I wonder why she took those with her. I wonder if they're like, they're like power sources or something. Anyway, we get to see, uh, and I'm just gonna put that right there. We get to see Vriska in more or less the, well, yeah, more or less the same shape she was at the beginning of the, uh, of the vid. And, which, that, that was also interesting to see the switch from from real to prospect, much the same way that it was here. She is in the same position that Terezi was. Very interesting. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, I don't know what that is, and I don't want to know what that is, so we'll just stop right there. There we go. <sighs> yeah, I, t I totally missed that last bit, where Terezi now, like at that point, she has her, you know, as you see here, she didn't have her red glasses, and then we jump forward to this point. She does have her glasses in just, oh, oh, that was great. So yeah, um, I guess, I, I, I guess you could say retribution has been delivered. So. So. Well, it is almost 9 o'clock, and there's only so many times that we can watch this thing. Um, and, uh, and it actually looks like storms are entering the area. Um, forgive me for just a moment, because I apparently have to take a look at the map, and yeah, it looks like we're about to get a line of storms that are, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take for it to get here, but it's looking it's looking kind of bad. Okay, I'll turn off autoplay. There we go. There. <laughs> um yeah, it looks like we're actually in for a bit of storm, so I'm it's probably better if I go ahead and stop here. Um but don't worry. Um 
we've got a few pester logs to get through, and then there's going to be another animation, so I'm guessing at some point I'm going to need to do that one up as well. Um, what have I got going on next week? Um, in case anyone is wondering, I'm actually looking at my at my journal. Um, where the hell am I? Okay, so there we are. Next Saturday. Um, I see that's Saturday, so I don't have anything on the th on March third. So it's very possible if I can get through the uh, the pester logs in a timely fashion that we'll have another one on next Friday. But uh, I guess even with all of those uh, technical difficulties, I think we're gonna have to st we'll uh, we'll stop here. Um, I tell you what, uh, anyone, let's see, <laughs> um, I actually did get a chance to, to take a look at the, the chat here, like, so I did, so I did catch everything. <laughs> Well, um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to play some games or, or whatnot, because, I mean, it's Friday, so, um, I'll tell you what, if nothing else, uh, I'm probably going to be, I'm going to end up stopping here as far, you know, for the official, you know, reaction. And uh, take care of some things on the back end. Try to make sure that I can get this recording and send it over to YouTube so I can have that up on the blog as soon as possible. Um, and then after that, uh, who knows? I'm probably going to... I'll see if I can find a, a game that might actually work on here and start uh, streaming in a little bit. Um, don't know how long that'll be. I don't. It'll also depend on what the storm does so uh, in case you, in case you don't know um, I where I live we are at the very very bottom of tornado alley and with the temperature fluctuating as much as it is it does have a tendency to stir up that particular kind of um, uh, hello promise uh, I'm I'm going to need a pronunciation for that name, but thank you for following. Um, uh, that, uh, any, anyway, there is always a chance with these, with the huge fluctuation of temperature changes, especially with it being really, really warm right now, that, uh, that we have a tendency to have some tornadoes in the general area. I'm usually fine, just because of the topography. But um, in any case, I always want to take a precaution, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. But I uh, prom promu secreta, huh? Promu secreta. Thank you for that pronunciation, and thank you for following. And well, um. I guess that's gonna be it for to for for this reaction. Um, as long as things go well, there'll be another reaction next week. And until then, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for reading, and I will see you later. <laughs>